All right, how's it going, beautiful people of Instagram? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from the art studio. And I'm gonna make an awesome painting right now. Just getting some stuff ready. Getting the canvas and bam, there it is. Like a salt guy, salt and pepper guy. <laughs> First, what we need to do is bless it. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. Just gonna get a little bit of my super duper awesomeness. Let me get it closer to you guys so you guys can see. More, ups more awesomeness. Let me get my Starbucks going on. Mmm. That's how you do it. And then... I'm going to... Get this started. Let me see. Just a second. Bear with me guys, please. We have more than enough time. Time is what we have the most. Time is what we have the most. We always have more than enough time. So I was thinking, why don't we do something like uh, something slightly different? Because you guys are like, dude, another landscape. <laughs> Qué tal, saludos. Let's do this. Let's do some bolts. Why not, huh? Some water and then vaya con Dios one more time. <laughs> I could just see someone looking at this, be like, What's this guy doing? <laughs> or I like it when people ask me to, to tell you know, to be like, they tell me, Show me the palette, show me the palette. <laughs> Like guys, it's not that serious. It's just, it's just, it's just I had a lot of practice. <laughs> I was listening to this artist from New York. She was a, uh, I forgot her name. She's, she's like, she's like a super cool artist. She does a, um, sort of a, her character is kind of like, like, like Toulouse the Trek, you know, kind of like Moulin, Moulin Rouge, Rouge uh, type of artist. She does that. Um, she does different stuff, but I I I I, he I heard her talking about what an what being an artist is, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and she made me laugh because she's like, being an artist. A lot of people think it's very uh, it's very uh, romantic and this you know this very esoteric, super romantic thing. And she's like. It's really this, right? One line after another. And she called it donkey work. <laughs> so I, just, I thought it was hilarious. Because <laughs> anyone who's done like, like art, you know, as a living, it's like, it's like you're a laborer. <laughs> so when people, are like, when people are like, oh man, I can't wait to be an artist. I, and I mean, if you do it for fun, it's fine, right? But if but if you do it for like, uh, if you do it, 
you know, to, to create income. It's, uh, she called it donkey work. <laughs> so I thought it was hilarious because it's so accurate. <laughs> it's so damn accurate. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just, you know, it's a, it, it, it takes one to know one, right? It takes an artist to know one. She's like, she's like, dude, everybody thinks it's like this thing, but it's so much donkey work. <laughs> I remember when I got into it, I was like, oh man, I'm going to be like, you know, I started thinking about my, what my studio was going to look like. And it was, you know, and of course, if you do it as a hobby, then there's a lot of pleasure in that, you know. But the moment you, you got to start paying stuff, you're like, ah, what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> uh, like Monet said, Monet uh, was recorded saying, well, there was this record of Monet saying, uh, 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 I, hope, I hope all of this uh, hard work pays at some point. No, it's worth something. Because... <laughs> Cause I equate it, you know, it's like, I equate it to, to being, um, how's it going? <laughs> Art for truth. I equate it to being, to being, um, uh, just labor, you know, it's just very labor intensive work. But it, uh, Michelangelo also said, if people knew how, how much I worked, they wouldn't think I was, you know, my work was so special. <laughs> <laughs> they knew how much I put into it. I think it's so true. Anyways. I don't want to make anyone feel bad because of that. Just, I just thought it was funny. But yes, there is that super romantic aspect, right? But then there's also um, a lot of just donkey work, you know? <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh so much. <laughs> I think she nailed it. I forgot her name. Any, any of you know know her name, know who I'm talking about, uh, let me know. I saw her on YouTube somewhere. She was, uh, she's like super clever. She's very smart. She was, she was giving a talk about, I think she went and, and did some, some artwork in one town of a bay. I think she was the only artist accepted to go in there and, and record, you know, keep record with uh, pen and ink. And because she wasn't allowed to, to use a, like they can't take photos or anything of, of faces, right, of any of the people there, uh, staff or anyone, right? Uh, she put this sort of smiley faces, but kind of like with a frown or something like that, which I thought was pretty clever. Anyways, <laughs> she just made me laugh when she said that. I was like, man, I haven't, I haven't heard anyone describe it so accurately. You know, I get, I get emails uh, just about daily that people tell me, man, I want to be an artist. I'm like, I'm like yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> like you, you, you really, you really have to, you really have to love the damn thing, you know, because otherwise it's like, who said that? Um, what's his name? This other guy, um, Steve Jobs, I think. I think Steve Jobs was the one who said, you know, he was talking about small businesses, but but touching very much on the same thing, right? It's like it's like you have to really love it because because it's it's only a only a crazy person would do that. You know, that's kind of how I see artwork. Because it's so it's so painful to to lift it off the ground, right? That's the reason why he was talking about that. I think with artwork is 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 uh, it's been misrepresented. You know, it's been said all these things that it's, it's so romantic and whatnot, and it is. There's an aspect that it is very romantic. There's that the personal stuff, right? But the moment that you're like, oh man. I gotta pay the rent of the studio, the art studio. You're like, ah, what did I get myself into? <laughs> and not to not to say that it's not rewarding. Of course, it's extremely. I wouldn't do anything else. But I think that's why that's why I think it's funny because you know, like Steve Jobs said, you have to 
the person has to be kind of, or like uh, Grant Cardone calls it, you know, you have to be obsessed because otherwise you won't do it. It's, 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 it's too crazy. I mean, who would want to do that, right? Who would want to be like laying paint all day? You have to really love it. For me, this is like, I'm sure for, for just about any artist. I get some people here that visit me in the studio every now and then and they're like, I can't believe you do this all day. This is, this is crazy. I feel the same way. I, I couldn't go to an office. I mean, I could if I had to, but, but since I have the option right now to be an artist, you know, to be to go to an office and just kind of sit there, it would it would be a. I would I would look for the for the way out. And then you become an artist, and you're like, ah! <laughs> I had my first studio, and I was. I think when I was like 17 years old, 18 actually, because my first uh, studio, like serious studio, you know, that I thought I was a serious artist. And I remember the, the, the first month of rent was like, yeah, the second month of rent, the rent and I'm talking about an art studio, not a living studio. Although I slept there a, little, a lot of times, but uh, I remember the first month of rent was like, yeah, I can do this. Then the second month of rent came by, and I was like, all right, all right, all right, you know. By like the sixth month of rent, I was like, no way, what happened here? <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. That's a, that's a real artist right there. Uh, Art for Truth says I have to paint every day or else I get antsy. I just have to. I, I think that's the, that's the marker, you know. If, if I'm not painting, if I'm not creating artwork, it's not always painting for me. For the, for the most part it is, but it's doing something. I'm either, I'm either drawing, uh, designing something for, you know, stretching canvases. It has to be something related to this, you know, by a <laughs> It's gotta, it's gotta be something related to that. If it, if it, if it's not, uh, yeah, I get antsy too. I'm like, what's going on? So yeah. This is supposed to be water, okay guys? <laughs> For those of you who are like, what the hell is he doing? Just bear with me, this is my genesis quad, this is how I, this is how I do things. Check it out. Check, 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 check it out. All right. Now I like to put some dark green sometimes under the water, just because it's water, you know. So you want to have some of that. I like to darken it with red, also. Uh, Sometimes. I mean, you could put a little bit of black if you're into darkening. With a, with a dark green and, and, then, and then a little bit of red. It gives it that, you know? Especially if it's mixed with a little bit of viridian. I don't know, this is how I do it. It, it makes sense in my mind, I don't know why. It actually doesn't make sense in my mind. It just it, it intuitively makes sense in my in my hand, I guess, more than my mind. In my mind, it doesn't really make sense. I said that wrong. It makes sense in my hand. My hand's like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. My mind is like, dude, be careful. The green there is not right. You didn't get the right tone. And my my hand is like, dude, I know what I'm doing. Step out of the step out of the way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Art for Truth. I love that.
It's something like that, you know? I had this person tell me that I painted like, like a drunk person. <laughs> like a drunk person. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually that was actually one of the best compliments I've, I've gotten so far. You paint like a drunk person. They're like you're all over, you're all, you're all over the place. As <laughs> this did tell me, this sophisticated artist was like, you're all over the place, man. Like pick a spot. I'm like I can't. If I do it, I'll paint like you, and I can't do that right now. I already did that. Oh, burn. <laughs> burn. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. The mind is like, throw it away. This is, this is, who's going to buy this? Are you crazy? That's what the mind says, you know? The mind's always like, the mind's always like, it, 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 all, it always, it always wants to make you feel better. I mean, when did it want to feel, make you feel good? Think, think of a time your mind wanted to make you feel good. You actually, you actually have to talk over it and be like, I am, I am strong enough. I am, I am a good person. I am, <laughs> I am, I'm a good son. I'm a good dad. Because if, if you don't tell yourself that, your mind's like, oh, you're the worst. You're the worst. It's just the way it is. I, I, like I mentioned to you guys the other day, Seth Godin said that uh, the reptilian, he calls it that, right? The reptilian aspect. The, the aspect of, of our brain that wants to survive actually is, is doing that because it wants to protect us, you know? And I don't, I'm, I'm sure he's not talking about the ego, which is a whole other thing, right? For those of you who, who know about that kind of stuff. Um, I think he's just talking about, you know, just uh, instinct, you know? There's, an in, there's, a, uh, uh, there's certain, certain triggers that kick in that are like, are like don't, don't do that because last time an ancestor of yours did that, he got eaten, he got eaten by the saber to tiger, you know? So don't do that. Don't, uh, don't go into the unknown. I mean, that's why people, a lot of people are, are like, why are artists so abstract? Like Picasso, right? If he knew how to paint, quote unquote, right? Just because there was a certain way of painting. If he knew how to paint, people say, <laughs> why did he go abstract? And I always, I always find that interesting because not that there's anything wrong with that. That's a valid question. But I always find it interesting when I hear that because that is how uh, we have discovered design. That is how we have discovered things that we didn't know. You know, because of Picasso, we have, we have. I mean, if it wasn't Picasso, it would have been someone else, but because of someone like Picasso, or in this case, Picasso did it, and Matisse and, and, and all those uh, avant-garde, we have, we have cool stuff. We have different modern design, you know, if it wasn't for these guys. <laughs> you wish you could paint like a drunk person? <laughs> if, if, if Jack Sparrow was an artist, I guess. <laughs> So there you guys have it. I hope you guys had a, a a cool little experience here. Check it out. Man, I'm one hell of an artist. I'm telling you guys, we're going places. We are going places. We just have to uh, keep going. Yeah, that's right. The more you experiment, the more you the more you the more you do. It's just really it. You know, the more you do, the you're 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 gonna start tricking your mind. Your mind's gonna be like, "Oh, wait a minute!" You know, I hear this a lot with with people that train for like triathlons and stuff like that. I hear I hear that that, that CrossFit type of training. That essentially, that's what they're doing to their muscles. I mean, I don't know anything about that personally. I just heard it, so don't take my word for it. I just I just understand that that I was told a couple of times. I have a friend who who runs those. And I was told that essentially, um, somewhat tricking the muscle, you know, to make it grow, to make it stronger, to make it, you know, to, to create more uh, resistance. It's really about resistance. 
I think it's the same thing with artwork. You know, the more you do it, the more you do it, the more you you test yourself. I, I heard this artist talk about that, this this master artist, I guess they called him, you know, this this older guy. And man, he 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 sure painted, you know, like a master artist. He he paints he paints really well. And he was drawing and he was saying, You always want to test yourself. And I was like, where did I hear that? Where did I hear that? You know who else said something similar to that? Uh John Singer Sargent. He was like, You always want to be creating you know, drawing, you always want to expand, you always want to test your boundaries because you, you might be comfortable with something, but if, if you don't expand it, uh, you're going to quit learning. And that's why I brought you guys three little boats instead of a landscape today. Three little rowboats. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, one hell of an artist. I'm not trying to impress you with this because this is this is me, this is how I paint. I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, inspire you guys to do your own thing to to do your 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 artwork go for it you know I'm not not I'm not one of those artists who's like dude look this is how you're supposed to do it no hell no this is how I do it don't do it like me <laughs> go figure yours out <laughs> I'm just sharing I'm just sharing my process here so you guys have it my name is Jose Trujillo I'm the world's greatest living artist. Guys, take care. I will be showing you guys some of my awesome stuff soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.